Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to compare the Nest Cam indoor Wi-Fi security camera to the Wisecam version 2. A $200 camera versus a $20 one. We will check out their specs and their features and show video footage day and night and see if there's a difference on the video quality. We will check out the features of each camera that the other doesn't have. At the end, we will answer the question, is the extra $180 worth it? So let's start with the pricing. The Nest Indoor Cam is priced at their website for $199, while the Wise Cam is $19.99 plus shipping, which is around $26 to your door. The Nest has a 1 3rd inch 3 megapixel sensor that is at 1080p HD running at 30 frames per second, while the Wise Cam has a 1 by 2.7 inch CMOS sensor at 15 FPS. The Nest has a 130 degree field of view, while the Wise Cam has 110 degrees. You will see the difference on this overlapped image. The Nest can work with both 2.4 GHz and the 5 GHz Wi Fi, while the Wise Cam can only be connected to a 2.4 GHz. As to night vision, the Nest has 8 infrared LEDs with an IR cut filter. And with a Wise Cam, it has four IR LEDs and also has an IR cut filter. Let's check out some night vision footage. This is the night vision test for the white scan version 2. Both cameras have two-way audio. The Nest has this chime that will alert the person in the camera to get their attention. It also has this unconventional push to talk and push again to cancel the mic to listen. When I tested this feature with their outdoor cam months ago, I had issues with missing the first few words of the response. But testing it with the indoor cam, it worked pretty good. Can you hear me bud? I'm just testing the Nest Indoor Cam 2-way audio. So, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, for the Wise Cam, it has a traditional push to talk, then release to listen, just like a regular intercom. Now I'm testing the Wise Cam. Can you hear me okay? Cam, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Can you hear me, bud? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Now I'm testing the white scan. Can you hear me okay? 
Yes, sir. Now, the operating temperature of both cameras are the same, from 32 degrees to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. As to recording, the Nest records 24-7 to the cloud, but you need to be subscribed to Nest Aware, which starts off at $50 a year for a 5-day history. If this is your second or more Nest cameras, then the subscription will be discounted to $30 a year. You will also have an option for 30-day history for $300 a year. For the Wisecam, there are no subscription fees. You have two options for recording. There is a free 14 days alert only cloud recording. Motion or sound alerts will be uploaded to the cloud, but the Wise also has the local micro SD card recording which you can choose to record motion events only or continuously 24 7. It supports from 8 to 32 gigabytes micro SD card. Now we're going to check the notification alerts. I know both cameras have a delay, but we will see which one notifies us first. It averages between 15 to 30 seconds delay on both of them. Most of the time though, WISE will notify me first followed by NEST a few seconds later. One thing to note though that the NEST has a 10 minute cool off period and the WISE has around 5 minutes. I wish both of them will have a user option to adjust this cool off period. Now both cameras have motion and sound detection, but WISE has another feature. It can differentiate the alarm sounds from the smoke alarm and the carbon monoxide alarm from regular sounds. Another feature of the Wise Cam is motion tagging, which the camera will track any motion within its field of view. Now, for the Nest Indoor Cam, it has the notification preview, which you don't need to open the app to view the footage. Just push and hold the notification, and you will see an animated GIF of the footage. Also, I like the scrolling time lapse, which you can easily browse the footage for the day. The Wise Cam has a time lapse feature too, but you have to manually set it when it starts and ends, and then it needs to process. Lastly, let's check out some footage between the two cameras. This is the audio and video test for the white cam 2. Also guys, both of these cameras have an 8x digital zoom. And Nest has this zoom and enhance feature which you can zoom in and when you click on the plus icon on the lower left of the screen, it will enhance the zoomed area and it will keep it that way in the recording. Compare this to the regular also 8x zoom in the Wise Cam. Do you see any difference between the two? So what do you think guys? Is it worth the extra $180 to have the Nest Cam indoors or will you depend your security on a $20 Wise Cam? Let me know what you think guys. I'll link in the description down below my review of the original Wise Cam and the version 2. As to Nest, this indoor cam was just borrowed but it is basically the same 
as their outdoor cam which I did review a few months ago and I'll also link in the description down below. That's it guys, thanks for watching and hopefully you liked this comparison video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch product reviews, long term reviews, comparison videos, and product updates. Thank you.